Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on this channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is just share with you my own personal opinion, my own personal view and take on the crypto projects that we talk about on the channel. So with that said we're going to talk about Flippy Cat Token. You can see here the, on this front page we're sending a cat to the moon. Uh, it's a decentralized moon token evolving into a vibrant ecosystem. So they've got a couple of buttons here so you can take part in the private sale. At the time of me recording the video, there is still time before the, um, the private sale launches. And, uh, and you've also got a pre-sale link here as well. So the private sale, I believe it, there is a soft cap of 50 BNB and then a hard cap of 100. Um, so before we go ahead and, and move on to that private sale page. I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down to the website so you can kind of see some other elements that are going on. You can see uh, the private sale and there's a chance to win one BNB. If you get into the private sale, you can also see the private sale launch here and a timer stating that there's, um, there, that there's just under six hours uh, before it launches, you know, for the uh, private sale. There's a reward system, 6% BUSD, uh, goes back to holders, um, you know, of the FCT uh, token. So you can see, uh, basically, it's it's you know um, pretty you know simple you know websites so and not a whole lot going on, uh, you know. But it matches the theme you know of of, of the Floki Cat. So um, with that said, like I said, we're going to go ahead and talk about the private sale. So here is the private sale page. Um, so the chance to win one BNB. They're saying that the draw takes place after the private sale hard cap is filled. We'll assign its transaction ID entered during the private sale a number and do a live stream on a Telegram channel using uh, a Google random number generator to uh, to choose the winner. So they give you some instructions here, you know, on how to participate. Uh, what I do like, you know, it really it, it really goes along with you know, most you know, private sales is that you're just going to be sending uh, BNB to a wallet address. Now, obviously, with private sales, that does make things. It, I mean, we already know, you know, trading crypto is risky as it is, you know. But I mean, the earlier you get in, there is the the risk just goes through the roof. Um, you know, so because if you participate in a private sale, you're basically just sending your money to a wallet address. So as you can see here, this kind of gives you the breakdown of the information, the token to uh, total token supply. You see they've got a ton listed here, total tokens available for sale. Still got a bunch, but it's 10% of the total supply. Private sale rates, one B and B is going to get you 100 million FCT. The south cap, like I said before, 50. The hard cap is going to be at 100. The minimum buy is 0 0.1, and the max is 2. So um, again, according to the timer, they've got a timer here as well, just like you saw on the front page. Five hours, 53 minutes before you can you know, actually participate in this. Should you be interested, they're going to need the transaction ID of the BNB transfer, your MetaMask, you know, your BEP, your, your BEP20, you know. I will, wallet address um, and then your telegram handle so this does require that you are a member of their telegram um, before you can actually submit um, you know this information so they're also indicating here that the pool will close immediately upon reaching the private sale hard cap of 100 bnb the private sale is based on a fcfs you know model so that's just first come first serve so basically that gives you the gist of the private sale now, let's say you don't make it into the private sale, and they've also the pre-sale page is up. Pre-sale is going to start here you know, in 10 days and 11 hours. So they give you some additional information here. It's a ticker FCT. This is going to be a public sale. Minimum buy is going to be 0.1. The max here is going to be 4 BNB. So um, what I do find interesting about the pre-sale is that the tokens are vested. Now we did not see that in regards to the private sale, so I don't know. I can't tell you for sure. If the private sale tokens are vested, my assumption would be that they are, especially if the pre-sale tokens are vested. But again, I don't have that information. It's just my assumption at this point. So, one BNB, you know, unlike the private sale, is going to get you 95 million. The the, uh, the private sale is going to get you 100 million. So, uh, first release for pre-sale is going to be 50%. Vesting for the pre-sale is going to be 20% each five days. So, basically, what is this? You know, five days. Um, five minutes, five, 25 days. So basically within a month, you should be able to get, um, you know, your, your, uh, your full allocation, you know, um, of whatever you got through the pre-sale. Now, obviously for most, you know, projects, you know, once they launch, you know, I, I would imagine that, you know, obviously the launch 
at the launch, you know, your tokens are not going to be vested. But if you participate in the private or the pre-sale, <clears throat> excuse me, you are definitely looking at vesting for those for those tokens. I believe that this badge just showed up. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So apparently now they they've got an audit here. Um, so since it just showed up, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click on it. It'll take us to that audit. Since that happened, you know, right here live as I was recording. So, um, but either way, it looks like the audit is done through CoinScope. So we'll just go ahead and we'll scroll on through. Since obviously I hadn't had a chance to take a look at the audit. Um, good to see. You know, this compiler version means that it's up to date. So this kind of gives us some information. The analysis letting us know that red's critical. You know, this is medium, minor, and pass. So it shows you here. Everything's passed here. Same thing that we're looking at here. What I am looking at <clears throat> or looking for is basically to see the checks that they've done and to see if we've got any high severity issues. So far, I'm not really seeing anything that is concerning yet. And the way that CoinScope does their audits is a little bit different than what I've seen in other audits since I'm actually just doing this live um, you know, as we go through this. So, so far, and I'm not seeing a summary, you know, on this either. There it is. Okay. So here's a summary. Pokey count is a meme token with a friendly and growing community. The smart contract analysis reported no compiler error or critical issues. That's good news. The contract owner can, uh, can access some admin functions that cannot be used in a malicious way to disturb the user's transaction. Transactions, there's also a limit of max 25% fees. So... Um, so yeah, nothing really seems to come out of the audit, you know, that would be hugely concerning. So, I mean, that's good news, right? So aside from that, we're going to take a look at their FAQ. Um, so basically, if you go ahead and you click, you know, on any of these, they're going to go ahead and give you some answers, which that's always good to see. Um, and then they've got a map, meow paper, crypto's number one cat. So we always hear about flippy dogs, but we don't hear about flippy cats. So that's also what I find interesting about this, this token. So they, they say that it's created with the goal of creating a decentralized meme token with real world utility paired with an instantly recognizable brand, the perfect recipe to evolve into a vibrant, rewarding, and fun ecosystem. So to achieve the goal, we aim to establish strong brand awareness, world-class marketing strategies, cutting edge graphics, engaging content, and a large social community. All good things. So here they talk about again that 6% BUSD rewards redistributed you know, to all holders of the token. We're looking at 12% of the supply being locked. Okay. Um, and a community vote will be held to establish how holders would like to see the locked token distributed. Not sure when that vote is going to take place. Oh, actually, there we go. Community vote will take place in Q1 of 2022. Look at that. Asking, asking questions where the answers are right there. So it looks like they're also going to be doing a swap. That's always good to see. I also see a multi-network bridge. Um, you know, that's also helpful. Um, bridges, you know, are certainly something we're seeing more and more with, with tokens. Um, just means that uh, it, allows, it allows for, you know, um, people on different networks to be able to get access, you know, to the token. So uh, bridges are definitely a good thing. Uh, let's see here. So they say the swap is coming soon. We've got NFTs are going to be associated, you know, with this token as well. Um, which that's interesting. Okay. So look like they're going to have a different domain. Um, so yeah, Pokecat NFT release dates will be announced after the token launch. And so it's a different domain than the domain that we have currently, you know, for this, uh, for, for the token that we're looking at. So uh, I think that's interesting. So obviously they're saying the NFTs are coming soon, core values, transparency, user safety, community. They've got the roadmap here. So it looks like they've got a few different phases, private seal in progress. Um, you know, they've got some merch obviously going to be associated with this. So it kind of goes in line with the, with the shirt that we saw. Uh, building up a community. I think they've got over a thousand you know, members right now uh, in their telegram, pre-launch phase, the project launch, pancake swap, the audit. So we already saw the, the audit. Uh, I'd like to see if they're going to be getting another one of those. The NFT marketplace core, develop, core team development, NFT partnerships announced and influencer marketing campaigns. You guys know how I feel about the marketing. When they list it as a basically a heading you know, in their, in their uh, roadmap, I'd like to know more about what they're going to be doing to market the project. 
so the launch pad they're gonna be coming out with a launch pad that's interesting so moon mission huh so team enhancement community competitions and giveaways and airdrop I'd be interested to know what that's gonna be the launch pad so I'm really interested in this launch pad uh, that should be interesting to see you know, that, that get developed I think that'll be a big deal so looking out for that in Q3 of this uh, this project it's gonna run on the Binance Smart Chain so it's a, it's a BEP20 you know token uh, let's see here so they took you know give you some information in regards to the total supply you can also see there's vesting for the team which is also good news means they can't just dump on you um, pre-sale ICO you know schedule so they give you some dates here the 119.22 the initial white paper draft completed and circulated uh, to potential angel investors okay uh, the private sale so this is interesting because they're doing the private sale you know like basically in five hours or six hours so I don't know why this says TBD so these are basically things they should probably should update you know on their YAL paper um, they give you a tax breakdown so obviously we can see those BUSD reports and obviously you know if you're into rewards tokens um, that's that's it that's probably gonna be a draw you know for for this token that will bring people in more than likely 4% marketing fee and 3% added to liquidity so and they've got some you know some some links here you know for their telegram twitter and facebook so so yeah that takes us through uh the meow paper um all right so as far as like my, my red flags you know for this project um i don't see a team i don't see a team uh, no names no nothing um and even when you go into the telegram i think there are only maybe two or three pin messages you know so again I don't know I mean just early on you know this project so but there's nothing mentioned about the team getting docs or anything like that and um, and certainly you know that that's 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 a flag for me you know I, I like to go ahead and see a team um, some kind of bio you know I want to see people behind the project you know so that definitely is an issue aside from that um, you know private sales you know I'll, 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 I will mention this again the earlier you get in especially when you're at the private sale stage high 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 risk um, you know but aside from that you know getting into a private sale also can lead to you know larger gains as well so that can't be dismissed so um, the other thing I'm going to mention is that you know private sale and the pre-sale are vested so that means that you know your, your, your the tokens that you get are basically going to be drip fed to you you know so you're not going to get it all at once and you do have to hold on to them for basically a month before you're going to see your full allocation you know of, of what you purchased um, which I mean that the vesting time period is is not as bad as it could be you know because there certainly are other tokens where you got to hold on you know, to it you know for like four months before you actually see a hundred percent so it's not terrible but it definitely needs to be said that you are looking at vesting you know as far as this token is concerned um, you know aside from that uh, you know I don't really have you know a lot of other huge issues but the issues that I do have you know they are um, you know, somewhat significant you know so um, the vesting is more of like an FYI for you, but the private sale, you know, understand that, you know, it is high risk if you are going to take place in the private sale because it is so early on. And it, you know, that's just not something you can ignore. Um, and there is no team that is docked, you know, for this project. So I uh, would definitely like to go ahead and, and see that take place. Beyond that, that's my take, you know, on this project. So if you guys like the content that I'm putting out on the, on the channel, by all means, please subscribe and turn on the notifications, click the notifications bell so that you are made aware of um, whenever I drop new content on the channel. Uh, with that said, I appreciate you guys watching the video and I will see you later.